Welcome to our module on labyrinths, O-rings, and closures. Although these three small items may appear to be insignificant, you will soon find that the multitude of machines at your plant could not operate without them. Seals are some of the most important parts of machinery, such as this pump used to transfer fluids and gases at your plant. With the introduction of a wide variety of synthetics, seals have been developed and refined to contain these products and their pressures. It is vitally important that you, the men who will maintain the machines, have a detailed knowledge of these seals, their uses, and how to remove and install them. In other modules, you have already been introduced to packing and mechanical seals. This module will concern itself with three specific types of seals, labyrinths, O-rings, and closures. First, let's define seal. A seal is a device that must perform at least one of two functions. It must keep contaminants out of a machine, keep fluids or gases in, or both. In some applications, a seal may only be required to seal out dirt, moisture, and other undesirable elements. However, the primary use of most seals is to contain fluids or gases inside a machine. The seals we will show you in this module fall into two basic categories, contacting and non-contacting. A contacting type seal is usually referred to as an oil seal. It is designed to contain liquids or gas through direct contact with a shaft or other rotating component. Both the O-rings and the closures are examples of contacting seals since they both come in contact with the shaft. A labyrinth is a non-contacting seal. Although it does seal liquid or gas inside a machine, it does not come in direct contact with a shaft or other rotating element. The examples of labyrinths, closures, and O-rings that we show you in this module are just that, examples. By this we mean that the example you see will be a very common seal now in wide use. This does not mean that all labyrinths will look exactly like this one, or that all closures are identical to this example. Remember that this course is designed to teach you the basics about these three types of seals, not all that there is to know. This can only be learned on the job over a long period of time. Another point we want to make has to do with the machines you will see throughout the training module. The machines are not important to this course. Their only purpose is to serve as a vehicle for the particular seal we'll be showing you. We're not attempting to show you the location of all the seals in one machine, or how to take the machine apart or repair it. This will be covered in another module. Our only concern is to familiarize you with these three basic seals. How they work, their usages, and how to install and remove them from a machine. If there are additional elements regarding these seals that are particularly important to the operation of your plant, your instructor will pass them on to you. Since requirements will vary from one plant to another, we'll leave certain specifics up to your instructor to explain in detail. Our first seal will be a labyrinth. We'll tell you